Hi, welcome back to another tutorial from Guide to SolidWorks. Uh, what we're going to do today is look at how we make the nut bolt and the washer um, together into an assembly. So we've got the three components here open, the bolt, the washer and the nut. Uh, which we previously modeled. So if you want to check the videos out for them, I'll leave a link in the top corner for them videos. Um, and you can go through how you make your own nut bolt and washer and then follow along with the assembly. So let's have a go at making this into an assembly. So I'm going to start off with the bolt. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to go to file at the top and I'm going to go make assembly from part. Okay, and then we get the components that we've got open already within the SolidWorks software here at the side. Okay, so the first thing we're going to use is the bolt. And I'm just going to drop that in there on the screen, like so. Okay, so I've got my bolt in there. Now I want to add my two other components as well. So if I go back to my assembly option at the top, and I've got insert components here, so I'm just going to drop on that. And I'm just going to highlight holding control, highlight both of them two components, and then just drop them in there. Okay. So from there then, what I can do is I can start putting these together. So the easiest way to start off with this is because they are um, all straight, um, concentric, straight down the center of that shaft. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna put on a temporary axes through the center of the object. So if I go to the to the view little icon at the top there, down to temporary axis, click on that and it will put on a center axis for each of the circles, for each of the components. I'll start off with my washer and I'm going to make that to this axis here. So click the center axis going through, click mate and click the center axis going through there and it'll just move it into line and tick that. Now you'll see it's going through there. Now I don't want it to go through there. I want it to sit up nicely flush against the edge of there. So I'm just going to click on the outside face, click on the face of the bolt there, and it'll just move it into place. Adding them two relationships here in the top corner. Tick there. Now I can keep going adding mates. So again, click there and click there. And it will keep allowing me to add mates here until I press the X button and clear that off. So now I've mated that in line. Now, the issues with this is all I've done is mated it in line with the center of that shaft. So it's not actually lined up with any threads and it's not going to rotate around on the thread. So we need to have to use a bit more of an advanced mate, or actually a mechanical mate, to be able to get this nut mated onto the thread of this bolt. However, the first thing we need to do to be able to do that is line up the threads. Now we're going to have to do this by eye. So, so let's have a go at lining up the threads. Now the easiest way I've found to do this is a couple of different ways, but the easiest way I've found is turn everything into a line or hidden line visible drawing like so. Okay. And then I am going to select the face there. And I am going to view that uh, face as a normal view. So it's all straight up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom right in here. I'm going to match up this thread. I'm just going to drag it up and get that in line. as close as I can. So we should find that they start to disappear into each other. So I'm getting it as closely matched up as possible. Okay. Now it's important that we get that matched up as best we can. Um, uh, the reason for that is if we don't get it matched up, it will not mate together. So I'm going to try and get that matched up as best we can there. Okay, so I'm going to come back out of that view and just go back to a solid view, like so again and now I'm able to start the mate. Now a mate for this should be a screen
screw mate. So I'm going to go to mates and I'm going to go to mechanical mates. Make sure that's cleared off at the top in the selection. I'm going to select screw. Okay, so I'm going to select the outside face of the bolt and I am going to select the top circular face of the nut like so and all it's done is it's picked on the two points there that it can revolve around so it's going to revolve this shape around that shape now the issue is it's going to do a, a distance of one revolution per millimeter okay so we know that the pitch of this thread here is 1.5 down the shaft and through the nut so what we want to do is make sure that that one revolution there per millimeter is divided by the pitch of the thread. So our one divide by 1.5 should give us the actual movement that the thread is going to move over a millimeter, which is 0.66 we carry. So if I tick there now, what we should have is the screw, the, the nut that now revolves down the shaft of the bolt, like so, and the pitch, so if I just exit that and show you here now, that the pitch of our thread, no matter how far we revolve it down, should stay in line with the pitch of the thread of the bolt of the nut and the bolt, like so. So it's always going through the gap. Okay, now the only issue with this is if I rotate it off or up, it's gonna come off the end, and if I rotate it down, it's gonna go through my washer. So to stop that from happening, I can set some limits. So I'm gonna set a limit between that face and that face. So if I go to mate, like so, I can go to an advanced mate and I can set a distance mate here. Okay, so that's picking or identifying the distance in which the bolt was, or the nut, sorry, was sat at before I pressed any of the mate buttons. What I want to also set is a minimum and a maximum distance this bolt can go. So from this face, the minimum it can go is zero. It can sit up against it. Can't go through it, but it can go sit up against it. So I'm gonna change that minimum distance to zero. I'm gonna change my maximum distance to the full length of this bar from outside of here. Now the thickness of this washer is three mil and the distance of the shaft of the bolt is 40, so it's going to be 37. So I could change that to 37, like so, and tick there. And now if I rotate this bolt, I'm going to also take the temporary axis off. But if I now rotate this bolt, it will rotate down to that washer and stop. So it gets stuck when it hits the washer but I can also rotate back to the top of this bolt and it should stop when the outs in the inside edge of the nuts hits the outside of the bolt. Like so, lining up with the edge there. Okay. So that's just a tutorial on how we can set up mates with a thread. So we've mated the bolt to the nut to the bolt uh, using a screw mate. Hope that's helpful um, and hope that's a technique that you're going to have a try with. Have a go um, and please, hopefully, you will like the content and subscribe and if there's anything that you want me to have a look at uh, please leave a comment below um, and I will 
be back with some more tutorials on the nut bolt on the washer in the upcoming future. Thank you for watching.